Hey, gun people. Wanted to uh, just talk about this military plane crash. Um, the plane that crashed, that C-130, I've been on many of these. It's a great aircraft. It's very versatile, pretty stable. Uh, I was actually uh, on the flight line when one crashed right 200 feet away from me while we were out there training dogs on the flight line, and it just crashed. And I'm going to go through a little bit on kind of, and again, they're, they're not saying what happened, whether it was an explosion on board, whether it lost an engine, whether it was a weight shift. But for anybody that cares, I'm going to go through a few things about aircraft and things that kind of could have contributed to this. Of course, we're not going to know. And even when they tell us, we still may not know. You know, if they screwed up, they're not going to want to say they screwed up. So they can, they can always come back. It was, hey, you know what, engine malfunction. It was, like I said, I told a story before where we had to go pick up pilots from, from the air crash that crashed and they said it was an engine malfunction and they had bullet holes in the engine so but the public was told it was an engine malfunction so <clears throat> um, the way the plane crashed here and the way it looks like it crashed it's um it doesn't look like it was at a at a speed going forward or backwards it looked like it was maybe in a in a in not a, a direct nosedive tail spin because the the hole uh, the plane crash that pla crashed on on Travis right next to me, there was just a hole in the ground. It was like a crater. It was like you dropped a big thing right out of the sky, and the plane just kind of like dipped right over. Uh, and what happened was one of the propellers <coughs> went into reverse. So here's another angle. Um, why is my little microphone off there? Huh, hope my microphone's on. Anyway, uh, so here's one plane, uh, one view of it. Here's another view of it. Uh, another view of it there. There again, it's not. It's in a small contained area, so it doesn't look like it's scattered out. On on plane crashes that are going at a fast speed, they're going to be scattered out. But they're if they're in a pretty much tailspin, they lost lift and they're falling straight out of the sky and maybe spinning. This is kind of what it looks like. So here's a picture of a C-130 and and the propellers here. Now each one of these propellers is like the propeller or the rotary wing, whatever you want to call it, on top of a helicopter, these blades can shift and twist. So if this engine goes out, what can happen is you can tilt these blades to where they're straight and they create less drag. So that way you don't have this wing catching all this drag. If one of your propeller goes out, you're flying on three props. And, and because you can make those go straight, you lose some drag, which makes you more aerodynamic, which creates less drag on this side. And your plane's more stable. Uh, the plane that crashed at Travis that I was on, they were trying to make those flat, and they went too far, and it caught wind. And when you twist these too far, it goes in reverse. But when it goes in reverse, it literally pulls this wing. And that's what happened. As this aircraft took off, one of the propellers went in reverse, and basically it just did a nosedive right there on the runway while it was taking off. So uh, that that's kind of the way the propellers are set up. And I was talking about the, uh, you know, the versatility of these planes. They made a, quite a few missions to where these planes could land on short runways and take off on short ways. And they put these jet packs on them. And it's pretty interesting to see Here's them take this. off. Engineers retrofit the plane with rockets. These rockets slow the plane as it lands. And provide extra propulsion upon takeoff. Well, let me tell you, they can take off fast, too. Um, so, uh, I mean, again, these, these planes are very versatile. There's a lot of things they can do. They fly well. This little video here shows the, uh, C-130. So this is a C-130 gunship. We call it a Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, and it, it, it has a lot of, uh, cannons <laughs> and howitzers and all kind of machines and, when you needed air support, you call in one of these bad boys, and let me tell you, uh, you couldn't say Puff the Magic Dragon or, or Gunship on the radio or they would leave. But they can pretty much tune in. They shoot those guns from that plane, and they do some serious damage uh, to things on the ground when they're aiming and shooting at things. I think they kind of shoot a couple. Um, let's see if we can get a little. Copy. So the plane's flying, and yet they're still hitting 
a pretty good target, so they can do quite a bit of devastation. So, if you get one of these in the air, let me tell you, you've got some pretty damn good support. Not too much is going to come. You can pretty much be surrounded, and they can shoot things all the way around you and just take out all kind of... Uh, and, that, and again, that's a C-130 gunship. And in this video right here, I'm just going to show you what happens when a plane loses a wing. So, this 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 is a 141. It's not a C-130. It's a jet. So, it can get a little bit more lift. But this plane crashes right here. And if you notice right here, it tilts. And it doesn't straighten back up. And what can cause that is if the weight, these big old pallets and planes or whatever they got shoved in here, cars, whatever's in there, if they come loose and they roll when this thing pitches, it throws the whole weight of the plane off. And this wing cannot recover and come back up. So once you lose lift on a wing, you're pretty much going down. Now this doesn't go on a spiral like this. Uh, and I don't know if the C-130 was spiraling like that. But it goes down, you'll notice, pretty kind of short and fast. Even though it's traveling fast, it almost looks like it's in slow motion as it's going down. And it almost just drops out of the sky because he can't get that wing up. Now, I'm not sure whether this had a weight shift or whether an engine blew. Now, there was a witness on one of these, uh, where was this witness at here that said, uh, maybe it was on this one. One of these articles said they had a witness that there was smoke and uh, uh, flames coming from one of the engines. And if that was the case and an engine blew, that means they were flying on three engines. If they were flying heavy and, uh, you know, that, that makes it the aircraft respond slower. And again, I'm no aircraft expert. I, I just know from talking to people and being in planes and kind of seeing crashes and hanging around talking and being, you know, you, you kind of pick up some things. So... They're going to be able to tell you from the black box and hopefully kind of what's going on, or they may not tell you. But when an aircraft falls out of the sky like this, normally it's mechanical failure or it's human error. So if one of the planes, if one of the engines blew, uh, I mean, I remember one plane crash, they had a, a tank on the inside and a spark hit it and it actually blew up inside the plane. And when it blew up, it was like it got hit with a missile. So that plane just dropped out of the air. Uh, the plane crash I was talking about, one of the propellers went in reverse. So it pulled that wing back, which pulled the other wing right overhead, and it crashed right there where, where it was trying to turn and recover, but it couldn't because the one propeller was going in reverse. And and that's a C-130, and these had four propellers. So he either lost an engine, engine one could have went in reverse, could have had some weight shift, uh, could have had an explosion on board that messed up the controls. So um, we'll find out what happened. I mean, a lot of people died. It's unfortunate. Uh, you know, they were they were on a training mission or something or, or a refueling relocation mission. But uh, I just figured I would discuss a little bit about plane because all you're hearing is a plane crash. And that, that may be all you hear because the military can pretty much tell you what you want and the news media is going to report the government line. All right, so we'll end that there on a plane crash. Hopefully you got something out of that.